Okay, today we'll be looking at the Motocraft oil filter, number FL910S. And you can get this at Walmart for $3.97. So let's get started. It looks like it has a you got a good, uh, good nice and tight. You get your hammer here. Filtration of 99 here. Okay, let's start with the box. It says right here. Majority of content made in USA. Let's open her up and see what she looks like. Here's the date code. 901-232-114. And this is a sticker. And on here also it says, Printed in USA. She has seven inlet holes, elongated inlet holes. Silicone anti drain back valve that I can see. And she's got a good amount of threads there, about four. It's hard to see inside uh, the metal core, but I can't tell if those are louvers. They look like louvers. Nitro O-ring gasket. Let's see how good this is. It's pretty thick. And, you know, it stays on there pretty good. It doesn't just fall right off. Alright, let's open her up and see what's inside. Okay, here she is cut open and let's get her weight. 9.2 ounces. Let's try the base plate. Four ounces even. And I like these base plates because of the elongated holes. Probably get a better oil flow. And it has a nice O-ring gasket too because it sticks out a little bit. So you can see that it protrudes a little. So I think you'll get a good seal. You can actually even see like the little grooves in it. You know, but there, I think it gives her a better seal. Even though it's Nitro rubber is still, should get a good seal with this. This looks good. You get your silicone anti-drain back valve, which is nice. And I was reading up on this and the S in here, I guess it signifies that it comes with a silicone anti-drain back valve. At least that's what I read somewhere on the internet. And this has a upper bypass valve built in to your metal end caps. And in case some don't know, um, if your filter ever clogs up, this bypass valve will work like this. The oil will come through and these little tabs here will keep it so it doesn't crunch right down. And the oil will go through there. And come back up here it'll be unfiltered but at least it won't come through this way and drag some dirt possibly dirt sludge grime whatever back into your motor but that's how that works so th this is nice I like the upper bypass valves these are my favorites and I counted uh, 64 pleats little space here but it's usually that's the way it is at the seams the rest of it is the pleats are really nice and the filtration on this it's supposed to be 80 percent at 20 microns with a cellulose polyester blend media so the rest of the filter here you got the stamp leaf spring which you know, this filter would be a lot better if they put a coil spring in there. It would have to be a short one, but it would be a lot better. But this is a pretty big stamp leaf spring. I mean, it's pretty good size, so we shouldn't have no, no problem with that. But why the hole, I don't know. Um, you know, they could make these a little bit bigger, too. 
But it is what it is, I guess. What are you going to do? Uh, the can. Let's get the measurements on the can here. Nah, can't be minus. Zero that off. Yeah. 0.3. Yeah, it's about average. It feels like an average can. Yeah, so I don't know what the setting is for the bypass valve. I couldn't couldn't find it anywhere. But yeah, this the filter media, you know, it's 80% at 20 microns. I was reading up online in some places they say it's a better rating than that, but I seem to find the 80 20 everywhere. So it feels good though. I say we open this baby up and uh See how long she is. Okay, here she is all stretched out. And she's 50 and a half inches long. 50 and a half. Here she is out. Here's your metal crimp seam. This is all nice and fine. Filter media feels fine. I got a little glue on here when I pulled it off. But you know, this is a four dollar filter. It's not a bad filter for four bucks. It's uh Ford's go to o OEM filter. But I like these bypass valves right here, these upper bypass valves. Silicone and drain bag valve, that's good to have. And you know, I was looking at this. I know I don't like these stamp leaf springs too much, but when you when it was in here, I was pushing on it. You know, I was trying to push on it with my hands, and it's pretty strong because if you look at it, the size of the filter, it's it's made pretty good. It's um because it's got a dome, and the way it's made, especially the way it's stamped with the roundness, it really doesn't have much of an arc. You know what I mean? Barely got any, any much, you know, hardly any arc there. So I don't think it's going to flatten out that easily. Like I said, it's pretty big too. It's it's bigger than most. So I'm not going to really complain about this one. This one doesn't look too bad. The filtration numbers ain't the greatest, but it's only a $4 filter. So it is what it is. I like to spend a little extra and get something better. But that's that's me. If you're looking for, you know, to save a little bit, I think this filter's fine to use. So I think I'll wrap this video up. Don't forget about Oil Filter Friday. I open up a new automotive oil filter every Friday on this YouTube channel. So if you like this video, please hit that like button. Thanks for watching and take care.